Hello and welcome to another video from In3D Software. Today I want to show you how we can make this curved banquet seating using IMOS IX and the Object Designer tool. So what you can see on the screen here is a design for um, some curved seating which is made up of various flat panel materials and some upholstered panels. And the way that I've made, uh, the way that I've made this is by using what we call the object designer tool. So we'll just switch to the designer tab. You can see we have the object designer button here. And what we can do is use existing AutoCAD drawings, uh, which we've either created ourselves or have been supplied to us by a, a third party. And we can use these to then create the 3D model that then has the production data. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to uh, a fresh drawing and in here you can see I've already created the object designer article and I'll just modify it. So by modifying it you can see I've got all of the various parts in here uh, and if I just click on that part and zoom in you can see what's been used here is an AutoCAD drawing that's been provided by the architect or the, the, the builder. And I have my plan view over here on the right hand side and a cross sectional view of the piece of furniture. And this is just 2D AutoCAD as you can see. So what I've done is I've used the object designer to create a series of top views, which are over here, and side views which are over here and there are different types so I've got what we call a side view segment so these would be pieces of material on edge and then we have side view contours and these are uh, panels that would be linked to a vertical view and then I've also used this uh, little button here called select extrusion path which is this first segment and you can see that this uh, collection is then patterned around uh, to form this sort of u-shaped seating area Okay, so what I want to do is simply tell the system to combine those two views into one 3D model. So I've selected each part and as you can see in here, I've got the ability to come in and add hardware to the edges. I can also go to the parts and tell it to assign materials to those as well, which I've already done. I'm going to go to the methods and say parts and two views and I want to select all of these parts. So I'm going to come in here and select this uh, side view segment and then I'm going to choose uh, each of these little sections in here. So now that I've done that, I can then just right click and the system will build these parts in 3D space for me following the pattern that's been created. I'll do that for the remaining parts as well. So let me just hide that line. And then what I want to do is just hide a couple of these uh, little lines that have been provided as well. So I can say parts from two views and select this part here. And this is actually the uh, deeper part, so I'll select these as I'm going around. And that's now given me my uh, formers here. And I need this last piece. So I'll select this part here. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is add in these cross-section pieces. So I'll say parts and two views and grab these elements here. And of course I can work in 2D or 3D if I want to. Okay. And then I'll also select this one section here. It will now ask me where this, point, uh, where this point is relative to the part. So what I'll do is I'll say insert a new point right here. 
and what it's generated is the furniture but it's actually facing the wrong way i need to flip that but that's fine i can click on the reverse direction and then regenerate and then we have our parts all set with the materials that are required. So in this case, I have a thin flexi six mil ply, and then I also have an 18 mil ply as well. And if I, if I uh, just click the tick button to confirm the uh, production information, what I can do then is simply switch to a higher level of detail. So I'll go to my vision manager and go up to a level six, and you'll see it's brought through the drilling points as well for the CNC. And I can then start to put this into production. So what I'll do is quickly save the order and I'll just call this seating and I'll generate the CNC data and I'll also generate the document manager data for IX Scout. So in here I've got my Scout data. I can also upload to Scout and generate my barcodes. I'll click save and then run this down my home mag nesting CNC. This will now generate the uh, CNC data for my nest machine. And once complete we'll see the results. So in here you can see it's generated a CNC part for each and every uh, a CNC program for each and every part, and it'll have also optimised the uh, position within the sheet for me as well and created a nesting pattern. In the background, the system is also going to be automatically generating all the relevant production information. So if I go to the order folder and have a look in the system, you can see it's generating production drawings. And as the system progresses through, more drawings will be automatically generated, detailing the dimensions and the drilling pans for every single part that needs to be made. So, all the CNC data is ready, production drawings are ready. The next step is to also go through uh, and generate the uh, paperwork reports as well. And I'll do that next. So as we can see, the uh, programs are all generated here. And if I open this up, it will show the program has its nesting contour for machining purposes. And then we also have the drilling data. We've also generated a secondary program for a horizontal drill that can then be processed on a separate CNC machine as well. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see we've generated three cotton pattern parts. And if we go to the first, we can open this up. And investigate the uh, resulting MPRX file generated for WoodWop. All the tooling data has been uh, assigned. We have all of our vertical drilling and vertical milling. Let's look at the paperwork results. So if we minimize WoodWop and the report, we can go to the output tab and go to the parts list and we can tell it to generate a quantity survey quotations, cutting lists, hardware lists, and even uh, nesting reports. Let's generate these. And in our order, we see that we've got all of our part drawings complete now, included our exploded view. We also have a folder with reports that now has a breakdown of all of the associated costs for production and assembly. And we have the nesting overview and the associated labels for each and every part, including the QR code.
let's generate a, a IX showcase so that we can send the design to the end user for approval. So IX showcase will generate a website, upload a 3D version of this model to the website and generate a link that will expire. And we can then send this via email to the customer. Let's click on the link. Here's the 3D model for approval. The customer can see all of the uh, machining details. And if we switch to wireframe, we can see all of the drilling locations as well. One last step is to send this to IX Scout. So let's go to the order. and search for seating. And we can then upload to IX Scout. IX Scout is similar to IX Showcase in as much as we have the 3D model for viewing, but we also have all of the relevant production data uploaded onto a private network that can be accessed from anywhere in the world via the internet for production teams, assembly teams, and installation teams. We'll bring back Showcase. This time we can click on IX Scout. And you can see seating has been imported. Here's the 3D model as before. But this time when we click on the product, we have our exploded view. And if we choose a part, we also then have all of the relevant paperwork, its grain direction, CNC name, all of its relevant cutting and material information and we can see where that part is in the build ready for assembly purposes if we go to the lists we can see we have all of our material lists edging information part information surfacing veneering cnc and of course all of our hardware if we go to the dialog button here are our reports that we've already created so these can also be accessed from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please let us know. Take care.